Kelly's Kitchen. Let me teach you a recipe and also make you feel really good about yourself. Hello lovelies and welcome to episode 3 of Kelly's Kitchen Food and Thoughts. Like it is storming outside and I figured there's no better day than a stormy day to have some fun in the kitchen. Also, excuse this horrible mane. I was going to do something with my hair, but it's also 110 degrees outside, so oh, you're gonna be cooking with Hermione Granger today. Now, there is one main ingredient in the recipe we're gonna be using today. Any guesses what it is? All right, I'll just tell you. Avocados! Oh my God, avocados! Avocados are obviously so hyped. People talk about how great they are for you, which they are. They're a healthy fat. You could put them on anything. They're good for your skin. They're good for your hair. But we're going to be making my avocado jalapeno dip. So let's get started. So the veggies you're going to need are two avocados, one half of a red onion, one half of a ripe red tomato, one low itty bitty jalapeno, about a fourth a cup of scallion, so I would suggest like a big bunch like this, some low fat Greek yogurt, and some coconut milk. But the topic we will be talking about today is believing in your potential. So before we get started talking, let's get the boring stuff out of the way. Let's chop up our entire red onion. Now I'm sure a lot of you watch this and you're like, wow, she does not know how to use a knife correctly. He would be right, but I have yet to cut myself, so it's all about having faith. <laughs> okay, so once you're done chopping up your red onion, it should look like this in diced pieces. I'm putting all of my diced up veggies on a plate because we are gonna be throwing these right into the food processor, no sauteing first, isn't that nice? So next, take your half of the tomato. So we're gonna do just what we did with the onion. We are gonna slice them and dice them into little square pieces and then put them aside. Oh my God, it looks like I literally have no arm. <laughs> The sun just came out, ah! So once you are done dicing up your tomato and you put it aside with the red onion, let's get started on these scallions, shall we? Now as we dice up our scallions, we're gonna cut up enough so we have enough to fill a fourth of a cup. I got a pretty big bundle here, so kind of just eyeball it, measure it until it fits a fourth of a cup. But knowing your potential, what do I mean by that? Many times, and we don't like to admit it, <laughs> It kind of feels good to have other people's approval. And sometimes it's hard to notice your own worth and your own talents unless other people are validating them. I'm gonna get slightly personal for a second. Um, I used to be a very, very insecure person. As a child, I suffered from social anxiety that really shook my confidence. The parts of myself that I, the parts of myself that were unique and made me me, I kept hidden because I was afraid because I thought they were weird. Then I fell into this weird place where when people started to think something I did was impressive, that gave me confidence. You gotta find a way to give yourself confidence and believe in yourself without needing to hear it from outside sources. Okay, wow, so I overestimated. Um, I only got through about this much of my bundle and I have a fourth a cup, so that is all you really need. Put it aside with the other veggies. All right, so let's get started on the fun part. The avocado, yay! If you've never cut an avocado before, it's kind of weird. I only recently started working with them over the past few months, so it took me a little while, but it's not that bad. So you cut off the ends like this. Whoa, <laughs> that was violent. All right, see, and it's a very mushy consistency. What you're gonna do is you're going to kind of slice down the skin like this with your knife, very thinly, and you're going to take off all of this skin. That's why I love avocados, because they're so fun. They remind me of like playing with clay as a kid. Okay, maybe more like that slime stuff. Remember that was like really popular in the early 2000s and you like throw it at a wall and it's, that's what an avocado reminds me of. I did this recipe once without a ripe avocado. It's not the same, it's gotta be ripe. The way that you know it's ripe is that when you press on it, it's squishy. That sounds really nasty, but like the squishier, the better. Once they're in the bowl, what you gotta do is you have to depit them, which is kind of annoying, but basically what you're going to do is you're going to cut down the sides, I suggest, first, and you're gonna slowly see a pit in the middle by kind of slicing along the side until you expose the pit, and you just kind of dig it out. I mean, you can just like cut it out, but I like to dig it out because I feel like a child. Yo, check out that avocado. <laughs> okay. That didn't happen. Oh, it is in the bowl, and you can put that off to the side with the rest of your veggies, and now for the jalapeno. So please don't make fun of me, but someone probably will, I don't care. I like to wear gloves when I do this because jalapenos are potent, and because I heard a horror story from my sister and her friend about cutting one up once. But despite that, I like to wear gloves just to be safe. So once we de the jalapeno and cut it directly down the center, we are going to dice it up just like we would a normal pepper into little bits. Okay, so all of our veggies we need for this dip are cut up. We've got the jalapeno, the tomato, and the onion, and the half a lime all on this one plate. Yeah, only put the lime in half. 
Look at those beautiful colors. And we have the avocado in a separate bowl. So now all we gotta do is blend them together with our spices and dairy. If it's such a nice day and the storm finally stopped, we would have our little pep talk out here before we add everything together. This episode's gonna be a little bit more personal because this is something I personally went through, but it took me a really long time to realize that I needed to be my own cheerleader and my own biggest support. And it's funny because we got things like Facebook and everything is so social now that it's really easy to get validation from other people approving of what you're doing. I've struggled from insecurity issues my whole life and it took me a long time to realize that eventually the only thing that made me happy was other people saying they approved of me. Other people making me feel like I had potential to do whatever I wanted. You need to believe in your own potential, even if you're all by yourself, even if you have no one telling you that you have it. It's really freeing and a lot more rewarding when you actually say, hey, you know what? I can do this by myself if I want to. All I have to do is do it. Finding the things about yourself that make you different and push you towards making a difference by yourself without wondering, oh, is that true? Should I be confident? Is this true about me? Self-examination is really important. So you need to believe in your potential. It's nice to get support. I am not saying that support from loved ones is a bad thing, of course it's not. But coming from someone who kind of lived off that for a while, it kind of made me realize that the reason I was living off that was because I just didn't like myself very much. It was kind of like I was blind and the things about me that other people saw, I couldn't see without them telling me about them. So it became kind of an addiction to hear that validation from others because I had no way of seeing it myself. Now I'm not saying that everyone is super confident all the time and loves and believes in themselves all the time. We all have our moments, that's normal. But if you don't believe in your potential, no matter what position you're in, if you need to be reminded of it, if you need to act a certain way to remind yourself that you're cool and awesome, if you need to constantly be trying to show people how strong you are or impressive you are, you might not really like yourself that much inside. A lot of people unfortunately do that because they just don't know how to like themselves and just be like, hey, this is me, this is what you get, whatever, I'm just gonna put it out there. This is who I am and if you don't like it, then life shouldn't be a constant arguing and trying to one-up someone else just to prove to yourself that you're worthy enough for yourself. It's very easy to be worthy enough for yourself because you are yourself. You all have potential to do whatever you want. You just gotta look in the mirror and realize that and an outside source, it's not gonna give it to you. So now it's time to combine everything in the food processor or blender if you have one. And we're gonna scoop in, I'm gonna say for now, half of our avocado. Then take your plate of all these beautiful veggies and put in about half of them. Take a fourth a cup of non-fat Greek yogurt, okay? Just like I've been using in all the videos, and just dump it in there. Then we're gonna take the rest of our avocado, scoop it in right on top of the yogurt. And then we're gonna take our fresh lime juice and we're going to add one tablespoon of that. Then we are going to take our coconut milk and we're going to also do one tablespoon of that. Okay, I am a scatterbrain. Don't forget to add the rest of your vegetables into the food processor after you add the coconut milk and the Greek yogurt. Now it's time for spices. So we are gonna start with a tablespoon of oregano. That seems like a lot of oregano. It is, but it's delicious. And then one teaspoon of ground cumin, followed by a teaspoon of black pepper. I know you're probably freaking out over the cumin because it's really spicy because we already have those jalapenos in there, but it's not that bad. Also, jalapeno, that jalapenos are actually very good for you and have a lot of vitamin C. That was a great pun, right? <laughs> I'm not funny. And lastly, we are going to do three teaspoons of salt. Now, if you want to give it a little bit of an extra punch, two teaspoons of hot sauce. All right, so now that everything is in here, we can put the top on and get blending. Time to blend it up, so just put it in and get the close button. Periodically, I'll just take my spoon and mix it around, pushing any big pieces of onion or chunky avocado pieces to the bottom, just to make sure it becomes really smooth and creamy. Okay, so as you can see, it's more of a creamy consistency like guacamole. I just simply took my spoon, scooped it into a serving dish. So it's creamy, but not too thick and not too liquidy. So we're just gonna scoop out as much as you can, put it in a serving dish, kind of 
and then we're gonna put some plastic wrap on that and put it in the fridge. All right, so here it is, my avocado jalapeno dip. I would suggest putting plastic wrap on this, putting it in the fridge for about an hour, I would say. And then it is ready to serve with crackers or veggies or anything of your choice. So that is it for episode three of Kelly's Kitchen Food and Thoughts. Thanks for hanging out. And remember, you have the potential to do whatever you want to do. And you can tell yourself that. Until next time, have a great day.